Armstrength.com here and today we're taking a look at Permanent for iPad. Permanent is a spreadsheet editor and in my opinion it is one of the best on the App Store right now. It looks absolutely amazing and it has tons of features. So let's go ahead and jump in to see what it does. Uh, right from the beginning you're going to see this opening screen where you could change the style of uh, your library of spreadsheets essentially. You could view the thumbnails, so we have a demo project here, or we could view a list. You could also go ahead and view uh, the sort of favorites section where you could add your favorite spreadsheets. And the same thing in the grid view as well. So let's go ahead and open the demo project because it has tons of things in here. And right from the beginning, we could see that there's different tables. You could go ahead and select the table that you want to currently work with. You could have pictures, you can move them around just like so. Let's go ahead and select this table in the back and what we're going to do is just tap on this navigation bar at the top to select the table. As you can see we work with the table directly. If you select something in the table, for example a cell, uh, in the navigation you'll see that the cell is selected and you could go ahead and edit it. However, we're going to select the table, select the ruler, and from here we could go ahead and adjust the table size, proportion, you could move it around, and enter the full screen. So you could edit the table full screen to get the full uh, advantage of your big iPad display. So let's go ahead and jump in to see what sort of um, options you have in the table. Here you have basic editing, so you could tap this pencil on top, or you could simply double tap the cell to start editing. And you could see that you could type in a formula, for example, one plus one. You could also change this to any number you want, and the number updates automatically. As you could see, there's a variety of different things you could do. You could do multiplication, division, um, things like uh, percentages. So all your default if you're used to uh, working with spreadsheets in Excel, uh, things like sum of various cells, um, I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but you could see them here. This is the formula and this is the result. As you can see, it does Boolean calculations as well. Very cool. So let's go ahead and select the table one more time. Select the ruler and just pinch it and move it and exit the full screen mode and we're going to jump into the sheet itself and from here you could go ahead and insert a new table so that will go ahead and add a new table and you could resize it if you wish you can make it small so there we go we have a new table you could also go ahead and delete this table and select the photo we could choose it from a library or you could take a photo and basically the result will be uh, you have this image and you could also resize this image very cool, it resizes proportionally as you can see moving it around in different directions will only maintain the proportion and won't distort the image and you could go ahead and full screen this as well we'll just drop this back down to the size that it was and jump back into the sheet and here on the top right you could actually go ahead and enter some scripts I don't really know any Lua scripts if you do, I guess this would be beneficial. So you could go ahead and do that. You could also tap the full screen button that will um, basically uh, enter full screen for the entire project. And you could go ahead and pinch to exit or you could just tap this button down here. So that's very cool. And you have basic undo and redo functions over here. And if we go jump into the demo project, we could go ahead and add a new sheet. And you could manage your sheets in this grid view or the list view. I didn't save the sheet that I just made, so it's not here. And of course, at the bottom over here, we could go ahead and do a variety of things. So we could enter um, some properties and star your sheet, which is basically going to put it into your favorite section. And you could also export it as a CSV or uh, I believe this is an Excel format as well. So that's very cool. So that's basically permanent for iPad, a great 
fantastic spreadsheet editor, go ahead and check it out on the App Store.